You act like, no, I like you guys don't know that shit. I got married, I'm still watching the fuck out of Pornhub. God damn, every woman in the world is on Pornhub. Anyway, let's get it for DJ Jazzy Jeff over here. Yeah! Right on, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thank you all for coming out. All right, all right. You guys, <laughs> you ever walk down the street and see someone that is just so, like, fugly? Just, just, <laughs> I don't believe in reincarnation kind of shit, but you have to think something happened in their past life to bring this about because it's just damaging. You know, it's like, I get the whole beauty is the eyes of the beholder, but. Fuck, I be holding some eyes too, man, and that shit ain't right. Like, this is just some facial disfiguration that just is, all right. I'm not to talk about ugly people, man. But Pornhub, I love you guys. Um, I realized when I got married, which ladies, most of you know I am now off the market. I am now off the market now. Thank you very much. I don't mean in that 12 years of slave shit off the market, too. I mean, like, I am a taken motherfucker. I got papers, though, in case you guys need to check. Um... One of the craziest things of being married is that moment when you say, I do, you know? You got two ways this question could be brought to you. You have this answer, these two words. Hakeem, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and to cherish? <laughs> I do, I really do, I do. Here's the other version. I came. Do you understand the charges that are being brought against you? I do. I do. Same words to some people, same outcome. Depends on your relationship. I can't say. It may be a sentence. You don't even know that shit. Another thing, folks, get this goddamn thing out of here. Another thing about being married. As I learned, you are not embarrassed about the shit you used to be embarrassed about when you were single. There's a lot of like give when you're married. I don't feel like, oh no, is she gonna see me? No, 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 there's none of that. It's just like, ah, ha, ha. I just got out, my shit is ashy. I don't give a shit, let's make some eggs. You know? I don't care, it's just, it's just, you just, you, you sign up to be this and this, you know, as part of you, who you are, man. This is a beautiful thing. However, there was one time I was really tested in a moment where this could really make or break something. And she could be like, why did I marry this motherfucker? Yeah, I'll tell you guys. You guys are cool. <laughs> we're in the kitchen. We're making some dinner. We're like that in love, freshly married couple, tossing cherry tomatoes in each other's mouth. Uh, uh, oh, you got to get it. Oh, oh, you got all oh, that was nice. Let's get over there. Let's get over there. All right, cool. Throw a little flower in the faces. Oh, that was cute. That was cute. We're doing that. It's annoying to everybody else. I get it. Man. We were just duly, just ah, we're naked in the kitchen doing it. So I'm looking at this. I'm like. I'm gonna get some tonight. Cause I, I can't, you know, we're married. I, I don't have to ask or beg. I'm just, I'm gonna do this right here later on. So I'm like, but before I do this, I'm gonna do the bathroom. I'm gonna rub one out first. <laughs> and your head, guys know this shit. In the head, you got that one free sperm that could just like pop out too fast and the sex is over. So you just wanna get that little crazy renegade sperm out of there, you know? So you just wanna enjoy the aftermath of that. So I'm like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and do this. I'm like, hey, honey, stomach, I'm just gonna use the bathroom real quick, okay? Just, I'll be right back. Still naked, mind you, just dick swinging, walking around. Just going back. That's how it swings. That's right. That's right. You guys know. You guys know. They left. They got tired of being pointed out. So I go to the bathroom. I'm looking at my phone, pouring up. I'm like, cool. Pants around the ankle and all that stuff, just like sitting there by the toilet. Got my phone. It's like, let's get this going, man, because dinner's going to be ready soon. <laughs> so I'm sitting there going on, putting my thing on. There's zero audio. No audio is happening. I'm like, what the fuck? Turning it up, trying to look at him like, damn, what am I have to watch this shit in closed captions? This is the worst point got a way to do this. God damn. Like, what the fuck? There's no volume. In the kitchen, she's listening to music on a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> yeah, man. Yep, 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 yep. So nah, I can't I can't sit down and tell you this. So she's listening to some music in there. When I left, 
listen to some Guns N' Roses like put no no Def Leppard pour some sugar on me yeah in the name of mm, yeah just fucking stick it in every year come on just go to who's your fucking daddy who's your fucking daddy oh, oh. yeah she hears that while she's cooking around the walk I'm in the bathroom what the fuck is going on with my phone I'm limp I lost cause I'm like, ah, screw it. Wash my hands. I faked it like I was using the toilet and stuff. So I'm like, sprayed the. <laughs> Maybe she don't know. Try to get that shit smell kind of created. Turn the water, don't even use it. You know, just. I walk back to the kitchen. I'm like, hey! How's the okra? You know? <laughs> I don't even know what the hell we were cooking anymore. <laughs> so she would start cooking and she didn't say shit. I go back in there, there's still music. Playing. This is not a true story, by the way. <laughs> Everyone says, no, this is a true story. Completely making this up. So we start doing a dinner thing and we sit down, pleasant dinner. I'm like, hey, what's up? That was great. That was great. She's like, hey, honey. I'm like, what's up, baby? She's like, can I ask you something? Like, whatever, yo, princess, my princess, what I do? What are my queen, my beauty? I'm married. This is love right here. You can ask me anything that comes over the top of your head. <laughs> Were you watching porn in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're back. Now, you hear porn. You're back. <laughs> I'm like, honey, is that you? Is that you? <laughs> There's one moment where you're really asking yourself, should I be honest? Should I lie? It's too early to lie. We too, we're newlyweds. You can't lie so soon into this. It's too soon to be going like, no, fuck. <laughs> But at the same time, you're kind of embarrassed too. You're just like, shit, was I doing it? So she's like, were you watching porn? I'm like, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I was watching porn, okay? You heard it on the speaker. Oh my God, you heard it on the speaker. And it just dwelled on me why I was not getting audio. So my lesson for you, everybody, is fucking get another device for your phone, man. Like, don't use the same Bluetooth devices and porn. Man, that was awesome. That was a great time. I don't know what the hell we had. Probably ordered out. I don't know. Yeah, there's been a lot of changes, man. There's been a lot of changes. Thank you. It's been crazy. Yeah, you guys been watching that Michael Jackson documentary thing that's been out? No. Yeah, me neither. Anyway. I heard it was fascinating. It's just been some weird stuff, man. It's just, we all knew his history. But it was just like, ah, it's Michael. As Michael, Gene Simmons was like, I would never take my kids around there. No way. But this guy's got a tongue that's like a lizard. And even he has some morals and standards about what the fuck to do about some kids. With makeup and just doing this whole stuff. <laughs> Michael, it was kind of weird because if we would have known this stuff and really pressed about it earlier, Never Never Land would have been like a horrific scene to have kids go through. Like James Heffel right like, off to Never Never Land. The kid's like, no! It could have been used as a scare tactic. But now we're like, never, never land, yeah, because no one pressed fucking charges on this guy. I just thought about that shit yesterday, actually. That's what I knew. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, man. And um, I just have a different thing. Like, when I was invited over here, like, so much craziness going on in the world, when I was invited over here. I never, I met this man over here once before last year. And I was, he's like, yeah, come over to the house. And I was like, you know, that was a little strange, because, you know, you go to a backyard, Invite us a black guy, you know, it's a hashtag backyard so white right now going on. So, you know, I don't know what kind of visual I'm gonna get into here, you know? So I come over, I'm like, where's the fucking tiki torches first? I want to scan this goddamn area, look around, go into some cupboards, make sure I don't see some crazy shit. You just never know. You just, there's a stock of tiki torches went up like crazy last year, man. God, if I would have thought about this shit, I'd invest it smartly, man. <laughs> like, I think every white guy has to go, like, show some ID, go into Home Depot, let me get five uh, tiki torches. <laughs> I see some credentials here, buddy. I know what potential shit could be used for. I want to make sure if I go to a backyard, it's used for backyard stuff. No hoodies. <laughs> No billboards and signs. I want to make sure it's a barbecue. No fucking craziness. This is great, guys. This is great. I've been um, not losing weight. As of the past few minutes, I got a little modelo in my, my gut right now. And um, I know when I lost weight last time, it was unintentional. But it's nothing like a better remedy for losing weight than catching a flu. 
It is the most ideal way to just lose weight fast. You look good. You faint a few times. Fuck it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. You throw up green shit. You poop on your pants. Who cares, man? It's so worth it. It's so worth it. You guys go hiking. <laughs> I had vomit coming out of my face for three years, man. Three years, what, huh? And I look great. I feel like I'm part of a Gap commercial with the color pants and shit. Like, that's what happens when you get married. You start dressing, I guess, better, you know? So I feel fit, except for my gut right now. Um, there's been a lot of change, a lot of change. And I'm wondering right now, how crazy is I kind of want to do something to someone. Someone's right here on the other side of the wall. I almost want to do something to them. <laughs> Are you guys down? Yeah, let's do it. Excuse me, people behind the wall over here? Hello? Can you hear me? The drug deal is now discovered. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. I'm like... I'm like a, a priest around a kiddie pool right now. I'm like nervous. You know? <laughs> like fucking Subway Jared on a public Wi Fi. I'm just like, oh, oh, just, just, just nervous, man. You know? I want to do a great show for you guys, man. You all here? I'm here. You know? Like, you guys took a route. I literally know my crowd. This is one of the benefits right now, man. This is great. Uh, I haven't smoked weed in a while. I mean, like. Were you just behind the wall? <laughs> the wall reference is now intact right now. Oh, no, not the wall. That was all I got. That's for the wall. That's for the wall. Um, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's just a, a bizarre, a bizarre time, man. I like to offer love, but I don't have it for you. Um, I love almost all of you, you know? Most of you are cool. Most of you are cool. Most of you are cool. Um, it's because... Guys, I just want to cry right now for you, because this is like a very like cry me in Argentina moment right now. <laughs> cry me a river, cry me something. I feel like a very touchy, feely kind of caress kind of man right now. I'm giving my heart, my love, my love. I became Spanish all of a sudden. I want you to understand the words that come into my mouth. Oh, first of all, that reminds me of that little weird accent I just did. When people say, because that lady reminded me earlier, when people greet me as Hakeem, for some fucking odd reasons, like, where are you from? And I understand what the lady was saying before. It's like, oh, your name is Hakeem? Where are you from? <laughs> uh, Queens, New York. Why, what, my last name is Wilson. What the fuck do you think is going to come out of my mouth? My name is Hakeem. Thank you very much for greeting me. Mm, I appreciate that. What the fuck kind of, like, curiosity you have with just the first, just the first name, man? Relax. Christine, jeez, where are you from? Venice, yeah, fucking figures. <laughs> like it's just Hakeem, man. Like I, I used to hate my name when I was young too. I used to just angry at my mom, and it's weird because she called me up a few days ago, and we have. I call her every Saturday. We having a conversation and stuff, and it's real funny. Just you know, we always laugh about what they, you know, silly mom and son stuff, you know. And it was real nice and pleasant. But before I hung up, she said, "Oh wait, 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 wait." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah. What's up, mom? What's up?" She's like. Did you have a good childhood? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. First of all, you don't ask the child if they had a good childhood, if you want some honest answers. I'm like, of course I'm gonna say yes, but I'm going to say yes. That doesn't mean it's yes, but at the same time, yes. She's like, I shouldn't have asked you that. I'm like, yeah, you shouldn't have fucking asked me that. That's a horrible question, mom. You don't ask somebody that right before you just Finish talking about pancakes. <laughs> it's just a weird transition, but she's a great lady, man. She's fun. She's good. Yeah. She's she's just, oh, good validation from the audience. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, like I said, I literally know the crowd, man. Give a round of applause for yourselves, goddammit. Yeah, guys, right on, right on, right on. I love Black America. This is great, guys. This is great. You guys are solid. You guys are solid. This is the most non-diverse group of people I've seen since leaving Koreatown. It was just a, a really blessing to see, like, the Apollo Theater, anti-Apollo Theater moment right now. That was the one thing I was thinking. I was like, hello, Apollo Theater! But those Pornhub people kind of threw me off, and I was going to greet you that way. And uh, sometimes you just got to go with the flow, folks. You all right, sir? You all right, sir? All right, right on. I like your pants. <laughs> <laughs>
I like your pants. That's it. It's no joke. I just like your pants. <laughs> it's like, shit, I'm gonna get raped. Nah, that's cool. My dick is for other uses. <laughs> like, the bathrooms, you know. This is a blinding light, too. I understand the other guy now. This is, this is a really, like, you can see my brown eyes right now pushing at me. And I love you guys, man. And I was thinking one day, when I make it big, in someone else's backyard, I truly expect 8% of you to be there. And that is my biggest request, man. That, is, that would be my biggest request. And DJ Jazzy Jeff, I gotta make sure you're back again, man. I keep calling you that because Never One, what was the, what was the name? Number Wonderful. That's a badass fucking name, man. That's a badass name. Never Wonderful? No, Number Wonderful. I can't fucking say it. I'm gonna call you Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> it's a compliment, it's a compliment. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be my show. I appreciate you mofos for coming out. Love you all, man. Thank you very much, guys. Right, let's give her a hot Wilson.